So I can start by uh, creating a bank statement. So if I choose AB and AMZO, let's say, and I choose my date as 1117, this is my start date and the end date is 113.17. This is a statement ID, any sequence number, reconciliation status is incomplete. Now my opening balance, let's say, is 1000. And closing balance is Indian housing. I can add other balance codes here. This is opening booked and closing booked. I can add closing available and opening available. So these balance codes are seeded. We don't have to. Uh, create them. Now we'll create the statement line. I'll enter a booking date of let's say 2nd of January. Any transaction code type right now. I have a check. I don't know whether it's an inflow or outflow right now. So credit. of 10,000 and say OK. And once I click on save, it will show me how much is the balance check uh, left. So I started with an opening balance of 10,000. I have added a statement line of 10,000 and hence my balance is OK. So if I edit this line and I say I have a credit of 5,000, no, uh, a credit of 15,000, so my balance check is showing 5,000 uh, extra here, I'll add one more line and I'll add a transaction again on first of a different low indicator and then put 5000 here. So any other information that we want to provide can go here. If it's a PR charge, what kind of charge it is, the tax amount, any other additional information that we have. And I say OK. I can correspondingly create one more uh, statement line from here itself. Let's just save. So my balance check is zero. I'll just save and close. So I have created a bank statement ID, a bank statement with this particular ID. You see the unreconciled lines have increased to 3. So there was one earlier and now we added 2 so it is 3 for API and Euro. Euro. The next task is manage bank statement. So if I just click on search and I have to put the statement and date, remove this date, yeah. So I have all the options here. So I want to see my statement in under AB and AMRO. So there are two statements. This is the one that we just created. 
if it is intraday, we'll mark it as intraday here. We can view our bank statements again. So, done. 